Hello chess lovers, Zornet here and in today's video we are going to take a look at a dramatic game which 13th world chess champion Garry Kasparov played during a chess simul given in Lima. Lima is the capital of Peru and his opponent is Wilder Kotrina. This game was played in 1993 and Kasparov opened up with d4. Kotrina answered with knight f6 c4 and b5. This is a very rare move and is known as Pyrenees Gambit. Now, once again this is a very rare move and the reason for that is that Black doesn't get any counterplay for the sacrificed pawn, you know. Yeah, a very strange opening and now let's see how are the events going to unfold. B takes a6, knight takes a6, and then in the style of, I don't know, bank or gambit, black is playing a6, but in bank or gambit, yeah, you are recapturing with the bishop, and then if e3, you are capturing on f1, that's a completely different position, and yeah, we can see that there is no compensation from black side, and white is just doing great. Queen e2, knight b4, bishop b5, Bishop takes f3 and g takes f3. Uh, by the way, in case you are wondering why not queen takes f3, then here is the answer. Uh, black can play c takes d4 and if he takes d4 then knight c2 and then knight takes d4. That's why after bishop takes f3 we have g takes f3. This may seem to be a weakness, but at the moment of course making use of that fact is a difficult task. Queen goes on h5, bishop d2. Uh, here f4 is very strong, offering the exchange of queens, which of course favors white. You have powerful post pawns on the queen side, and you can always neutralize a move like knight g4 with f3. Uh, instead, we have bishop d2, knight bd5, an exchange on d5 followed, f4. Queen g6 check, of course, black is rejecting the offer of exchange of queens. Rook b8, bishop d3, white has a nice bishop pair, two powerful pawns and yeah, all in all white has a winning position. f takes e4, bishop takes e4, queen f7, b4 and now Kasparov is hurrying to make use of his queenside pawns. Rook a4 trying to stop the advance of those pawns, g6, queen b3, the rook is kicked away and the a pawn steps forward. Uh, although at the moment, let me tell you that there is a stronger move f5. If g takes f5, then queen g3 is winning. And I don't know if g5, after f5, if g5, then just a4. And this is good, you know, having the pawn on the f5 is good. You are putting your opponent in a very awkward situation. But instead we have a4 straight away. Well, which is also good, and uh, White's position is winning. Uh, finally, Kasparov makes f5 move, but already Black has a chance of winning it with a g-pawn, something which he could not do earlier. In that case, there was a fork. Bishop takes d5, e takes d5, queen f3, bishop e5, rook c2, rook g8, Black is trying to create a counterplay on the king side. Rook g4, b6, rook a8, bishop c3, rook a g8. Uh, let me tell you that it was not good to allow black to double up his rooks on the g file, you know. Better is, for example, at this point, instead of playing b5, play rook g1. Yeah, in, in a position like this, simplification always favors the strongest side, but we have b5, and that's something which allows black to double up his rooks on the g file and create some problems. And now you have to be very accurate in order to win something which Kasparov fails to do. He fails to find the right defense place, rook c1, and this is something which is losing. He put himself in such a position where, yes, there are only two moves which are winning and 
then he fails to find those moves. For example, at this point, queen d1 is winning, and then f3, strengthening the second rank. Also, h3 is good if rook f4, then queen e3, and if here, then f3. And again, you have to make that f3 move in order to cover the second rank. But instead, Kasparov played rook c1, and now he's losing. There comes queen h5, now the threat is rook g1 check. Queen e3 and after f4 Kasparov resigned. If queen c3 then rook h4 and there is no defense white king is getting checkmate hit. Yeah, in a winning position Kasparov lost the momentum and this is what happens when you have too many winning opportunities. You know you are uh, losing the path and then you are facing a very painful defeat. Uh, in the end, the chess puzzle for you, where the task is to win with the white pieces. There is a forced mate, and as usual, we'll wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in my next video.